So we're here at Brown Bluff, which is at the very tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, on the site of what was once a submarine eruption. And we have groups who are gathering to go up to see one of the most beautiful birds in the Antarctic, the snow petrel. So those are uh, snow petrel uh, chicks, two nests actually in this, uh, in this cave. There used to be a third one here but they're gone, they lost the eggs uh, early in the season. So those chicks are about uh, uh, one month old and they at least need another month be before they can take off uh, at the end of February. So they wait for the parents for two or three days. Both parents are feeding at sea and they come every two to three days to, to feed the chicks. And uh, they're still greyish because they are covered with down, which is good uh, in terms of insulation, but they will grow flight feather. Uh, in about three weeks. You can see actually this one uh, get whitish underneath the, the, the down because the flight feathers are growing slowly. So they will be fully white at the end of February and they will take off and uh, they won't come back before three, four years uh, for the first time. So it's quite special to see those uh, chicks here because usually they nest on cliff, so they are out of reach, but they are here in that cave because early in the season the snow is going nearly up to the rocks, so they have to go through a, a tunnel, so they are hiding from predators. And uh, so chicks at the moment are relaxed. The only way for them to defend themselves is to vomit uh, a very acid and fatty oil. So that's the way they get rid of predator like skewers, but uh, uh, otherwise they don't have uh, any threat. The only problem they might have if, if they lose one of the parents, because they really need both parents to feed them to make it uh, before the winter. So yeah, those birds are quite special because uh, together with the emperor penguin and the Adelie penguin, they are kind of icons of Antarctica.